campaigners trying to save Birmingham's old library are asking the council to delay its demolition. Friends of Central Library said the building has architectural significance and not enough has been done to come up with other ways it could be used. Well, work on a new development of Paradise Circus is due to begin next year. Catherine Stan Cheshen reports. An historic building that should be preserved or just an eyesore. It's an argument that campaigners who want to save Birmingham's old library have had before and lost, but they're not easily put off. It's a shame to lose the building anyway. It's only 40 years old and it's, it's worth keeping. Even back in the 70s, the then new concrete skyline was controversial. There are great buildings, bright new streets, but how do you feel affection for them? Where's the warmth of the old Brum? Now the old library's famous ziggurat is going to be knocked down to make way for a new development starting in 2015. There'll be nothing like it uh, when it's knocked down. What, what we'll replace, it will be good, but it won't be outstanding, it won't be special. It'll be like many other city centres around the world. 90% of people in a public consultation voted to get rid of this old building. The developers say it's a no-brainer. When you look at the, the city's ambitions about expanding out to the west, making the connect, connections to the north, um, the building itself just completely constrains that. Developers say that their buildings will fit in with the new look of Birmingham. That if you're coming up from the brand new New Street station, walking through Victoria Square, coming through Paradise Forum here and heading for the bars and restaurants of Brindley Place or the new library, that you don't want to see this on your way through. So, what do the public think? And the older buildings look good, don't they? It's not, not don't look nice at all. I think it'd be sad to knock it down because it's kind of part of Birmingham's history. The fact that we've got a new one, wonderful piece of work, uh, much better than that. Birmingham City Council says, as far as it's concerned, it's a done deal. Permission to knock it down was granted in 2013, but campaigners say they'll continue the fight to make sure this particular piece of concrete remains. Catherine Sanchez and BBC Midlands Today, Birmingham. Well, John Grindrod has written a book about the rebuilding of post-war Britain called Concretopia, and he's with me now. Good evening, John. Hello. OK, convince me. Why should we save the old library of Birmingham? Well, it's a really fantastic, uh, unique building. There isn't anything like it in Britain. Um, and, and also, I think it represents an amazing bit of, of history, a period in time where there was a sort of space-age optimism. And it's one of the best buildings of that period in Birmingham. OK, now a lot of our viewers might get the unique bit, but maybe not the fantastic part of that answer. Why is it so fantastic? Well, um, I mean, partly it's the shape of it. I mean, it's an upside-down pyramid, which is kind of amazing that anyone thought that was, uh, that was kind of possible. And, um, and also, it's got, you know, the way that it's built, the way that it's constructed, the shape of it and everything, it's fascinating, the inside of it with the huge atrium and everything. It's a, it's a, it's a lovely building to kind of walk round. Yes, but a lot of people ask that question about should it be preserved or not 90% said no get rid of it well I can sort of see why in the, at the moment the state of it you know it, it really needs a jet wash it needs to be <laughs> kind of looked after a bit you know it clearly hasn't had a lot of TLC done to it for many years and it's surrounded by kind of loads of weird additions and shops and stuff that weren't there originally so I think it could really do with sort of sprucing up and I'm sure a lot more people would really like it we can look beyond Birmingham for many many examples of buildings that people might think mm, not sure about that you probably would fall in love with them so let's have a look at uh, one of them and get your view. First of all, it's a tower block in Coventry. Have a look at this. Mm -hmm. There are many examples of this kind of architecture right throughout our towns and cities in yeah. the West Midlands. Love it? Loathe it? I do like it actually. Yeah. Why? <laughs> well, it's um, it's a really there's a sort of school of architecture that it represents that kind of glass curtain wall thing. It's very kind of smooth and sleek. Again, that building's clearly not had a lot of TLC. <laughs> so what used to be smooth and sleek now looks a bit kind of tired and sort of. Tatty. Okay, yeah. this next one, John, might even test your love for all things concrete. It's a Crown House in Kidderminster. Apologies to all the residents of Kidderminster, but I have relations who live around the area. They're not terribly fond. See what you think of it. Oh, poor it's, old. It's now, it's now that it's the post office there. That gives you a closer look. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that clearly never was a, a great design. I think, you know, it's... Um, Have I found know, a little chink in your no, argument No, no. I mean, I think, you know, I'm quite happy to sort of admit that, you know, <laughs> there were good and bad buildings, you know, in that post-war period, you know, and I think, you know, that's what's great about the, the library is it's a fantastic building and it isn't, you know, it isn't a sort of bog-standard, boring building. It's really memorable. You know, people who've seen it don't forget it because it's such an unusual shape. Well, 
Well, it's great to hear someone so passionate about concrete buildings. John Grindrod, thanks very much. Good to Thank meet you. Thank you. Now the Times, quarter to seven. This is our top story tonight.